Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different, but I'm honestly so excited to film this video. Really, I've just been like really loving just filming videos that like just are really personal to me and like the things that I really enjoy and stuff like that, which obviously I enjoy makeup and reviews and stuff like that, don't get me wrong. But I love incorporating like my more spooky horror part on this channel. It just makes me really happy. And I saw that you guys really loved the decor haul and like the Haunted Mansion collection. And like that's just stuff that like really means a lot to me. And that's just like what my life revolves around most of the time. We're going to Disneyland today and obviously it's Halloween time over there, which it's like my favorite time to be at Disneyland, let's be real. So I wanted to do a get ready with me for Spooky Disney. And one of the questions I get asked a lot of the time since I do go to Disneyland quite often is how I make my makeup last all day long while I'm at the parks and stuff. So I thought I would show you guys some things that I do to make my makeup last through the day. Pretty much my normal routine, but there are like just extra steps that I really think are crucial to making your makeup last. Um, so today I'm going kind of late. I'm going at like six. <laughs> I'm gonna be there for like a couple hours. Hour, so I honestly probably would have done like my makeup as normal for today But uh, for the sake of the video I'll show you guys what I do if I was going at like early or even just like earlier in the day Because it is so freaking hot right now that like I want my makeup to like not melt off my face Disney a couple weeks ago and it was so Freaking hot and I didn't I just wore like my normal makeup and oh my god I I literally was like my makeup is melting off like it's it's not gonna last so I thought I would just do like my little get ready with me I'll do kind of like my outfit and stuff too and then um yeah maybe I'll vlog a little bit like while we're at the park so let's go ahead and get into it first thing I like to do is put on a lip oil or anything just to kind of prep my lips because if they're dry lipstick is not gonna go on right it looks to be like nice and hydrated so I'm going in with the ColourPop this is the Bengal lip oil I wear this literally every day and I just let this sit while I do my makeup. So also I have my little pumpkin cream colber right here to get ready because I need some energy right now. Also just want to say that like this is just not for Disneyland. This is almost the exact routine I did for Coachella as well and honestly my makeup lasted all through Coachella so this is just long lasting makeup tips not just for like Disneyland but obviously if you're gonna be at the parks all day long and it's hot and stuff this is what I do so I think the number one key is prepping the skin I notice it all the time when I don't prep my skin correctly my makeup doesn't last or sit well on the skin so I like to really prep my skin beforehand so with moisturizer first this is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream um, they do sell one that has SPF in it as well but I just go in separately with a different SPF but um, making sure my skin is nice and hydrated is like number one key to making my makeup last. Also, this just sits really well under makeup and it makes my foundation just like really sit nicely on the skin. It kind of almost has like this silky finish to the moisturizer. I don't know how to explain it, but she is pricey, but my God, this is like such a good daytime moisturizer. Um, and like I said, they do, I'm like literally almost out. I don't know if you guys can even see, there's like nothing left in here. Um, but they do sell one with SPF, but I just have the regular one. Go in with um, my own SPF. I just use the e.l.f. one. I think I need to buy a new one. This one's like on its last leg. I love this sunscreen so much. So um, I will go in with this. This one has like a little bit of a glow too. This also works as a really good primer. I love spooky Disney. I love Halloween. I'm just like, this is like my time to be like so happy right now. I'm just living my best life during spooky season. It's just great. As I have prepped the skin, I like that to really sink in and just sit on my face for a little bit. So I will do my eyes. In the meantime, I also just don't want my eye makeup to get all over my face while <laughs> I do that. Go on to the eyes. Honestly, I don't really do anything special for the eyes, but a really good eye primer that doesn't make your eyes crease or anything is the About Face Eye Primer. So I already did that. Um, I, since I'm going to Disney, I obviously want to use the Haunted Mansion palette again. In with my Chucky palette too from Glam Light. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet, but we'll, we'll start off simple. I don't want to do anything super, super crazy. I don't really care too much to do crazy eye makeup when I go to Disney, but I usually don't care how I look at Disney if we're being real, but I am taking my pumpkin picture today, so I want to look like kind of cute. Um, otherwise, I usually don't care, but um, I think I'm going to start off with the shade The Addict. It's this one right here. I'm just going to put this in my crease, so 
I haven't been to Disneyland yet and I usually always go the first day of Halloween which was the first this year but my boyfriend doesn't have a pass he used to and then he just like didn't renew it um and then yeah now it's like he, you have to like have the pass already to be able to renew it because they're not like taking new ones. I've had my pass for like 13 or 12 or 13 years. I don't even know. But obviously I wanted to wait for him to go because he loves Disney as much as I do. So he was like, you can go without me if you want, like on the first day. And I was like, no, it's okay. I'll wait. So he got a ticket for today. Um, so that's what we're doing. But usually I would go on the first day, but it's okay. I waited for him because I like just was so excited to be there with him today. So, yeah. Also meeting one of our friends over there too, so that should be really fun. We're only gonna go for like a couple hours. I think they close at like 11 today, so. It's like still hot, so I'm like, I should be wearing like long lasting makeup because it's hot outside. And over there, it's so freaking humid all the time. So I'm like, I might as well just do like the long lasting makeup. Going with To Death Do Us part from the Chucky and Glam Light palette. I have an entire video on this if you haven't seen it. I love this palette so much. And now they're in CVS, which I think is so cool. So I'm going to go with To Death Do Us part. It's the red shade in here. And I'm going to go lightly with this and just kind of build it up. This palette is so good. I think it's honestly one of my favorite palettes I own. The shadows in here are so good. It's a little crazy right now, but it's okay. We're going to cover it up with a darker shadow. So I think I might just do like a smoky eye. <laughs> I'm just going to blend that out with a clean brush and just kind of soften up the edges a little bit. And then for the lid, I think I'm going to go back with that shade that I used in my last video. This pearlized glitter is so pretty. This one is Psychic Medium in the Haunted Mansion palette. I just love this color so much. And I did want like a little bit of a brighter eye. I'm trying to think of like, I wanted to do a smoky eye, but realistically sometimes when i take my pictures at disneyland like the smoky eyes don't translate as well i want like the inner part of the eye to look a little bit brighter i add a little bit of which hat box in the outer corner this does look kind of similar <laughs> to the last look that i did but it's okay we'll back into the tool death do us part and add some more red in there because i want this to be a little bit more red clean up this under eye area really quick with a makeup wipe. I love the Haunted Mansion palette, you guys. Like, I used it one other time since I filmed with it, and I think it's so cute. I used, like, the majority of it for today, you know? I feel like it wouldn't be right if I didn't. Now that I had time to, like, do my eyes and let, like, that, um, skin prep kind of sit and sink into the skin a little bit, I'm gonna go in with primer. I like to use the e.l.f., um, what is it called? Primer that's like a dupe for the milk one. That one is really good, the like sticky one. Um, but I don't have that with me right now, but I would use that one. But I like the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Primer. I feel like it works fine and I don't think like it doesn't make my makeup last or anything. Like I said, skin prep is like kind of the number one thing. Um, but this is also the same primer I used during Coachella and it made my makeup last. For foundation, I kind of... I'm like debating between two of them. If I want something that's super full coverage, lasts all day and photographs really well, the KVD um, Good Apple Serum Foundation seriously is so good. The only thing is I think that this shade right now for me is a little too light, so that's why I'm not going to use it. But if it was my shade right now, I would because it photographs so well. I'm going with Eavesdrop from Fenty. I have the shade 7. Um, and this honestly lasts like all day on me too, so it's really long lasting for being a skin tint. Um, so I just like to apply it with a sponge. This skin tint honestly lasts like all day on me. I never really have any issues with it. And since it is a little bit more lightweight, it's fine because I'm just going to Disney. Like I'm not doing anything crazy. It literally feels like nothing on the skin too. So concealer, I'm going in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. This is shade... 40, light 45. It's just like my go-to concealer that I know like will not crease, it won't budge, it lasts all day. It just really brightens that under eye. Like a little bit of that on my chin and on my nose. I feel that it makes my makeup last literally all day long is baking and I cannot ever do my makeup, especially 
if I'm going somewhere and I need my makeup to last all day long, I cannot do it without baking with the Fenty setting powder. So I absolutely love this. I use the shade Butter to set them first and then I will bake. Um, that way it doesn't like leave it all patchy or anything like that. So I make sure to blend out any creases under my eyes in with a little puff. I take some of the powder, I just dip it in there, and then I will rub it around on my back of my hand. I just press it into my under eyes. I press it, make sure it's nice and set, and then I go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, and then just press. It looks kind of crazy like this. It looks very intense with powder. I will take a brush like this. This is a Morphe M438. And I will just kind of tap on top of that. Still press in the product, but also pick up any of like that excess powder. And then I will take a little bit on that same brush, the powder, dust some of that off and take it on my chin and then my mouth area. Right here. Kind of go like in a circle. I'm back with the puff. I'm going to set like my forehead. Just a little bit. I'm not taking like too much powder, but I'm just setting like right here. Just like the setting part of it. I am going to go in again and bake, but we're going to do some other things first. And I promise at the end of this, you will not look powdery. I promise. <laughs> okay, so like I said, we're just nice and set right now. We will go in and bake in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do my bronzer and stuff. I learned my lesson a couple weeks ago when I went to Disneyland. No more cream products there. I wear cream products everywhere and it doesn't bother me. I wear my concerts. I wear everywhere. But for whatever reason at Disneyland, I felt like my makeup was going to literally melt off. So powder products only today. <laughs> um, I'm going in with the Alma Cosmetics Bronzer Trio. Mine is busted. I need a new one. Uh, but this is like my favorite bronzer. And I'm just going to fill this up slowly. Be nice and bronzed. Also contouring with this too. Blush today. I think I'm going to go in with this glowish blush from Huda. This is called Caring Coral. It's like kind of pinky, a little corally. Oh, this color is actually really pretty. I don't think I've ever used this before. I just had it in my drawer. Oh, it's actually really cute. It's like nice and pink. Do my nose contour really quick, um, so let me just do that. So I like to contour under my lip right here. Just makes your lip look a little poutier, like so. Okay, so here is where like the important stuff comes in. So this is where I start to bake. I've showed this before, but this is like literally the key for making your makeup last. So I take some on the little puff, and I bake the sides of the nose, and I bring that under the eye again kind of put powder there there and i know it looks crazy but it's okay it's taking under here and here and then i do bake down the center of the nose so those are the areas that i bake i know it looks a little crazy i think i went a little crazy right here i'm gonna just kind of take some of that away but i swear if i don't bake my makeup won't last long all about how you bake and just how much you put on and stuff Sometimes it could feel a little dry, but I promise it will not look dry, um, especially if you prep your skin correctly. So if you've seen any of like my foundation reviews and stuff, this is the area where I start to get shiny. So I like to really bake here. For my lower lash line, I'm not going to do anything super crazy. I'm just going in with Joyride from ColourPop. Put this in my waterline about halfway. I'm not going to go all the way. And going back with... The Chucky palette. I'm gonna take the Till Death Do Us Part shadow, just kind of smudge that out. And I'm just kind of connecting that to the outer corner. And then I'm gonna go back with Hat Box from the Haunted the Haunted Mansion palette and just get that right on the outer part right here. For my inner corner, I'm going in with the bride from the Haunted Mansion palette, just on my pinky and just kind of placing that right there I'm gonna let this sit while I do my mascara and everything and then I'll be right back okay I went ahead and just put on mascara I was gonna put on lashes I like thought about it and I was like it looks fine with just mascara so my eyebrows this is a must as well especially if you're on rides and stuff you don't want your eyebrows to move 24 hour brow setter from benefit is my holy grail and I can't live without this this is like glue for your brows so I'm gonna put some of this on I like to really load it up in there. Look at the difference. Look at it. Ugh, I would die without this brow gel. 
had filled in my brows already before the video. I used the Koki um, eyebrow pencil. This is in the shade Chocolate Brown. It's not very chocolatey brown, but it works for my brow filler, so. Yeah, once that's on there, they're set. They're not moving. So highlighter. We're going to highlight the bridge of the nose. So I like to dust off the center part first, and it just makes the perfect nose contour. I saw somebody recently saying, like, who still bakes? And I'm like, I do. Baking, like, changes your entire face. Like, I love baking so much. It's, like, crucial to my routine, so... Um, I'm just taking the Half Magic. This is a Light Trap Enter the Glow highlighter. This is the one I always use on the tip of my nose. I love a nice little highlight. I start dusting away this powder and I like to go up. With like a little bit of force, not too, too much, but that just kind of brushes away most of the powder and doesn't mess up your blush or anything. I just kind of flick it towards the nose contour. Just dust away like whatever's left. Dust away under the cheekbone. Your face is nice and baked and snatched, um, but it kind of looks like you still have like a little powder under your eyes a little bit. And that's okay. That's where this comes in handy. This is the Half Magic Dulock Hydrating Set and Refresh Mist. I love this i don't think i could live without this anymore i honestly thought i didn't realize that this actually like set your makeup i thought that this just kind of like refreshed your face and stuff and also kind of just like melted all the makeup with your skin to make it look really nice and not powdery or anything but then i found out that it does actually make your makeup last and it does but i do go in with something else but you could just use this and it'll be fine so i like to spray my face i take my little half magic fan and let that dry and set the makeup of this step of the makeup routine. It's my fave. This really does melt like all the makeup with your skin. Like it just makes it all look like one. I said you can just use that, but I did use this product at Coachella and I did notice that like my makeup lasted a really, really long time. And it's so random because I don't even remember where I got this. I didn't purchase it myself and it didn't come. I think I got it in like a gift bag from like case to I think is where I got it because I haven't purchased anything from Too Faced in god knows how long but the makeup insurance 18 hour wear setting spray um this has it's a long wear setting spray with blue light defense um yeah this this made my makeup last forever just put like a little bit of that it also kind of got on my chest um and again just gonna get my little fan and this honestly just like just setting spray in general just makes your makeup look so much better. Um, I used to like hate setting spray and now I like can't live without it. It just makes your skin look so nice. So both of those products together, I swear your makeup is like not going to move. Um, and just in case if you are going during the day and you want to like retouch your sunscreen, especially when it's nice and sunny outside. I love taking the e.l.f. Uh, sunscreen setting spray with me because it has SPF 45 and it's a setting spray so kind of like refresh your makeup but also reapply your sunscreen at the same time. I'm not going to take this with me today because I'm going at night so I don't need it. But if you're going during the day, I definitely recommend putting this like in your purse or something. It's small enough where it doesn't take up a lot of space and I always take this with me during the day. That is pretty much it for the skin and the skin is skinny. My face looks so good right now. I'm obsessed. Um, so for lips, I'm gonna go in with one of the Haunted Mansion lip products. This was the one I wanted to wear in the last video, but I ended up going with a nude, but I'm gonna go in with this one. This is Summon Spirits, and I've been like obsessed with this color. I've been dying to put it on. It's perfect. So pretty. I actually don't think I'm gonna wear it today though. I just feel like because I'm gonna be eating and stuff. I just feel like it's gonna be kind of a bitch to leave on, you know, but god, this color is perfect. So I think I'm gonna go in with Hike House from ColourPop. Let's see. It's also like a little bit easier to reapply and stuff for the day. Like it right now. We may change it once I put on my outfit later, but so far, I like how it's looking. But this is the makeup look, so I'm obsessed. The skin looks so good, like my face is snatched. I'm obsessed. You guys, this makeup will last literally all day. Like, my face will not move. So, I also wanted to keep the lips matte because there is a lot of wind. You're on rise. I don't like to wear gloss or anything glossy. We're like hair on my lips and stuff. So, um, yeah, this is the makeup. I'm gonna do my hair. I think I'm gonna film it. I'm not doing anything crazy. This is my natural hair. Honestly, I just wanna leave it like this, but I wanna like wave a little couple pieces towards the front. 
Um, and then we'll do like the outfit and stuff, which I'm excited. I feel like I haven't done like a get ready with me on my channel before like this. So I'm on my phone now. I'm going to do my hair. This is my natural hair. So I would just leave it like this, but I do want to kind of wave some pieces. I'm just taking my INH waiver. I'm trying to like look in my phone camera right now. I'm going to freaking burn myself. Um, I just like to kind of wave the front pieces a little bit and make everything look a little bit more cohesive because like under my hair is like really, really wavy and my hair is like freshly washed so it's like a little frizzy. So I just want everything to look a little bit nicer. Leave it on the sections like too, too long. I don't want it to look like super wavy, just enough. And I just kind of, I kind of just do this very like half-assed. I just kind of do whatever sections look like they need to be. Wave. See, it just like makes a little bit of a difference. That literally took not even a minute. And look at the difference. It almost looks like my natural hair. That's why I like it. But I just have to do like a few pieces to make it look a little bit more cohesive because my waves are all kind of like all over the place. That's pretty much it. Like that literally took me a minute. That's why I like doing this hair because I don't have to really do anything. I'm on the outfit right now, but also let's just take a moment for the makeup because she's slaying. Okay, let's do outfit really quick. Okay, so I have like two, two and a half options. It's mainly what I'm gonna wear with this, I think. I did this little Halloween vest earlier this year and I've been like dying to wear it. So I might wear this. It's just a matter of fact of what to wear this with. I have this shirt that I just got. I started Target, it's in like the baby section, not baby section, like the little kid section. Um, I always have like a cute little like Spider-Man shirt for everything. But I would want to wear this if I was going to California Adventure and I'm not today. So I'm like, I don't know, but I was going to wear that. So I have my ears. I'm going to wear these ones because they're my fave. But I don't know. We're going to see. I'm going to put the outfit on. Give me one sec. Okay, I finished the fit. I'm doing like this little crop top. This is from Target and this little skirt that I always wear from H&M. But I love the vest. The vest is giving. Trying to do a fit check in here is like impossible. But I also put on some tights. I haven't put on my shoes yet. But um, let's do jewelry also. Can we just talk about my nails first? Like I have a little tutorial on Instagram. I probably will upload it to shorts of how I did this, but I love these so much. It's the new Lights Lacquer collection. And then these are the new rings. And I have my little horror ring from Empty Funeral. I'm gonna do this um, Love Paint and Stitches purse with it today. So cute. Okay, let's do jewelry. I'm gonna do my necklace from Empty Funeral. It's like my favorite necklace. Um, I'll just put this on. Do my earrings from Empty Funeral as well. My little chain earrings. Way too early. Like, my waiver hasn't even got off of work yet. <laughs> I think that's it for jewelry. I still haven't decided if I want to put my hair up or not. I might, because I'm... It's, like, too much right now. Um, again, these are the rings I'm going to do. And then these are the ears I'm going to wear. Actually, I might leave my hair down, because I am going to put ears on, so... I feel so spooky right now. They're my docks, but since I'm going to Disneyland, I've had I've had those docks for like three years now, and it doesn't matter how long I've had them, they do not like ever break in. I've had them for so long. So if you've watched my docks video that I've done, I have my little ankle, little silicone ankle heel protectors. These are a must if you're going to Disneyland and you have docks that just will never break in. I wear them literally every single day. For the last three years and they do not break in so these are a must okay this is the fit check i'm done finally getting ready have my little pumpkin purse my dogs i'm also going to take my portable my little portable charger this is my small one i have like my big brick one but this is i'm just going for a little bit so i'm putting that in there and my wallet and my perfume of the day is the kaoli wedding santal how the fit turned out i'm glad so I'll probably film like once I'm inside the park. Makeup is still slaying though. I'm a little hot in this house right now because I can't film with the AC on because it's so loud, but, but yeah, we're ready. Hey guys, we're at Disneyland. They serve drinks now. Wait, oh, do you guys finish your drinks? Oh yeah. Thank you. Cheers, it's hella dark. There's no lights here, but <laughs> we got a little pudding. You can't see it, but there's pudding there. Okay, this is the pudding. I just needed you guys to see it because it's so freaking good. Oh, it's like not focused. It tastes like pumpkin pie. <laughs> How does my makeup look? Yeah? Thanks. Does it look like I did it like eight hours ago? Nine hours ago, actually? No. No. Thanks. 
It looks fresh. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Night. <laughs> you have Bonesy here. <laughs> um, anyways, we're finally home. It's around like 12 15 now. So I've had this makeup on for like nine hours. I think I finished my makeup earlier around like 3 30. So it's almost like nine hours. And honestly, it still looks super good. It got a little shiny here, but that's honestly normal. It was 86% humidity over there. Just like I said earlier, it's always so humid at Disneyland. Like it's crazy. I always feel so sticky and gross, but um, the makeup is still slaying. I actually got like a ton of compliments on my makeup and my outfit today. So I was like, I know I look good. I know the makeup is slaying. Um, but yeah, the makeup, it's it's still a serve. I love how the makeup turned out today, but yeah, we were there for until they closed and I'm honestly super, super tired. So I'm going to sleep right now, but I just wanted to finish off this video. Um, but yeah, it was a good little spooky day at Disneyland. But anyways, um, I hope that you guys learned a little something today. Hopefully this makeup, you guys try this makeup for your next Disneyland trip. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.